both of these doors were locked. Yep. Oh, wait, no. Never mind. I already went in here. I think it was the other one though, the quest to wait was locked. I thought, I thought one of, at least one of them was locked. No, nope. oh. never mind. So? Apparently we're both losing our minds. Yeah, apparently. I think it's just that, um, the big room that's down here on the other screen. Sorry guys, we're losing our minds, I guess. Oh, snap! Fighting the rat. Okay. Uh, I guess this is a good time to talk about how the battles, or the random battles are set up. There's no random battles in this game. It's They're all in a set place. So, like, this battle will always happen. Oh, level up. Nice. So all my stats went up. Active time takes the most amount of time to level up, so... Active time means how fast the AT bar goes up. Yeah. But anyway, as I was saying about battles, every time... I go over this spot right here, for example. I'll get into a battle. Not, okay, sorry, I shouldn't say every time. When you first go over it, it's a 100% chance you'll get into a battle. Each time you go over that spot, it'll dwindle. I don't know by how much, but eventually it'll hit like 1%. And you'll just never fight it. <laughs> yeah. So, this game is not very grindy. I'm never gonna... You never need to grind in this game, by the way. But it's near impossible to grind in this game Ooh, because of that. Plus. Okay. Defense plus. Now I gotta explain this. Um, Use them right away. No matter what. These stat enhancing items, just use them. Because most like RPGs, when I play them, I save them because I don't know <laughs> where I should... Put them or do with them but because of the fact that you can actually you'll get tools for like weapons and armor and you can transfer all of the stat the plus stat bonuses that you get from like your the items into your next weapon and armor That's so you never have cool. to worry about using them or if you should use them or not this one's actually really finicky to get to Come on. You yeah. can actually open this. It might take me like 20 minutes. It's a PlayStation game. We'll get it one day. <laughs> Come on. I think this one's actually a pretty good item, too. I think it's a stat bonus. There we go. Oh, yeah. You got this guy first. It's just a rat. I do like how you don't go to like another um, like battlefield when you get into a battle. It's just... Ah, uh, I actually got hit. Opens up. Yeah, it's just in the same room. Level up. And yeah, your item capacity... That's how your item capacity goes up. It's from leveling up. Your ATB went up. That's good. Okay. Now... Come on. Now this is also hard to get to. There is an item in here. Trust me. It's not it's not just a encounter. Yeah. Come on. There it is. Handgun. See, you wouldn't think there'd be an item in there because of the fact that it's so finicky to pick this stuff up. Oh, it's a lot better too. Okay. Well, except for bullets. Well, actually, but... we can just do that. That's fine. Suppose one less bullet. But just remember to... You don't have to, like I said, because you're going to get a ton of ammo anyway. But you can take out the ammo out of your old guns. So. That helps. Yeah. I wish that was a thing in Resident Evil. Instead of having to like, waste the rest of your shotgun shells to use your upgraded shotgun. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. Okay. What do we got here? It should be... Yeah. End protector. New armor. By the way, um, defense is, you know, defense. <laughs> P.E. energy is actually your, um, parasite, or your, like, magic defense. And then oh, critical yeah. is your, um, uh, ability to protect against critical attacks. So, 
I think also parasite energy also affects the recharge rate of your of your PE bar. Because it does recharge during battle. So, once you use uh, an ability... Does it, does it recharge outside of battle? It automatically goes... No, sorry. Yeah, it automatically goes back up to max after battle. Oh, okay. So, no, you're good. I think it's the other one that you open. Oh. Huh? No, it doesn't matter. The key unlocks both doors. I thought one you had to unlock from the inside. No. What do we got here? Just more ammo. More ammo. Like I said, you'll never run out of ammo. <laughs> as long as you explore everywhere. Oh, we got a birdo. Bird. Three enemies. And I'm probably not going to cut out any battles. Because a lot of this stuff is pretty unique because of, like, the environment and stuff. Oh, shit. Hold on. Woo! Yeah, wait till after he attacks. <laughs> Ooh! You're full of items. That's fine. I'm not too worried about it. But, um... Also, this game is not very long. So I don't think I need to cut out battles. So. Yeah, it's a role-playing game made by Square, and the game is not very long. Yep. <laughs> it's actually kind of funny. Okay, there's a room I still haven't gone into. Oh, wow, I actually got into another battle here. That's interesting. I swear there's still a room I haven't gone into. Ow! Bit me! Why do you bite me? What room is it that we haven't gotten to? Oh, wait. Did we go? Well, we went in the one on the left, didn't we? Yeah. Is it then? Yeah, because I thought there was a room. There it is. Yep. I thought that was the clown room. That must have been the room below it that was the clown room. Must have been. Okay. So let's go up here and open this. You see, all of these are like really easy. But those couple are just really hard to open. Why? That's where you're supposed to see the bird the first time, by the way. Yep. Wow. Wow. I wish I could just use it from here. And then I wouldn't have to waste it, but... Why don't we just... Let's do this. I have plenty of them. Let's just... <laughs> do full health. That's fine. Alright, so now let's go into the rehearsal room here. Maybe Eve's in here. Let's go rehearse some lines. Oh, of course. There she is. We are going to rehearse some Why lines is she Eve. playing the piano? She's playing piano. She needs to play piano. But she likes the piano. Aha, that is Melissa. So Melissa and Eve are one. Oh. She's the one taking all this medication. She is Eve. Okay. All right. Oh. Okay, so basically we started out talking to Melissa, and now we're talking to Eve. Is that how it went? Pretty much. Like Eve is taking over her body, so. Yeah, Eve is like the medication and all that. Whoa! Oh, she looks mad. Um... What? Whoa! Hey, hey! I didn't mean I didn't mean it. I'm sorry. I, I like your piano playing. It was nice. Yeah. I mean, I love piano. You don't have to play piano. Once again? What do you mean once again? Mitochondria, huh? To be free. Um. Okay. The heck that's supposed to mean? So she's got the double beam of death this time, by the way. Just going between it. Oh, come on. It's You're supposed to move with it. It goes down. Or to the left or something. Yeah. See? Double beam of death! Or it could be hyper beam. 
Could be. Hyper Beam! Although she doesn't have to recover after using it, though. She actually... Yeah, you do get hit with contact damage on this game. Yeah. I don't know if I... Oh, shit, that one went up. I don't know if I explained that or not. Contact damage is a thing just like in Mario. Yeah. Need some time. What are you talking about? To become like her. <laughs> I don't. I don't. I don't think I want to become like her anymore. Right. So when I first played this game, I was what in? I was still in elementary school, so I got it when it first came out. And to be honest with you, I had no idea what the hell they were talking about. Like, mitochondria and cells, and I was like, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> <laughs> I think when I was younger, I just saw it was made by Square, and I'm just like, oh, Square, I love Final Fantasy. Let's yep. get this. <laughs> and it turned out to be one of my favorite games, but I didn't know what the hell was going on when I first played this. <laughs> Gotta pay attention in science class to figure this game yeah. out. Yeah, mitochondria oh. influences cell growth, so that's why you're seeing the cells grow and stuff. <laughs> I, I don't know, like, the specifics of everything. I just know the basics of that stuff, so. Yeah. But I do remember... I guess we'll just jump in. I guess. Yeah. But I do remember the um, cover of this game used to scare the shit out of me when I was a kid. <laughs> What was the cover? It's like a picture of Eve on the front. Oh. Yeah. But it was it's more detailed than in the game, because in the game the graphics aren't the greatest. Because it's a 90s game. So. It's an old game. Alright, we're in the sewers. And of course, oh, rats of course are down here. Of course they are. Three of them, huh? Yeah. Oh, he bit me! Nice. Got it. Oh, good. I learned scan. Analyzes Sweet. enemies' HP and weakness. Scan's always helpful. Yeah. In this game, I don't use it all that much. But... It's mostly because I've played this enough times to the point where I already know everything about enemies. Yep. So. Alright, what do we got here? Oh, it's a froggy! Hey, froggy. Froggy! Watch it's out for the frog. frog. Yeah, it, it, it hits you with its tongue. Yeah, it's a really long rage. And it does hurt. A lot. Oh shit, reload. No! Okay. Oh, I missed. It missed. Another level up. Holy crap. You were just gaining levels left and right. There we go. Now it's probably a good time to heal up. Because unlike a lot of role-playing games, your health does not restore when you level up. Oh, it's one of those games, huh? Mm-hmm. Oh good. New handgun. This one has three bullets, so it shoots three times per turn. Um, I would, there's weapons that go up higher than that, like five and ten, but I would probably stick with either two or three, just because there's diminishing returns on this game, so the more bullets you have, the less damage you do, ultimately. And the fact that you're left exposed for a long time, if, like, you're sitting there shooting ten bullets at a time. Yep. Yeah. You're gonna get your ass kicked. You will not be moving when you're shooting. Mm hmm. You can't move and shoot. So, this battle's kinda difficult, and it's the only thing that's up here, but it's worth it. You want to go up here and kill these guys. Big reason. Because we get two revives. Ooh. Two revives at the beginning of the game. Are you kidding me? That'll so, help. you don't have to use them or anything. As long as they are in your inventory, when you die, you will come back to life. 
Well, that's that's awesome. just leave them in your inventory. Yeah, it's auto life. So, okay. I did see a chest way in the back. I don't know if you guys noticed that below the catwalk there, there was a chest. Oh, hey, it's a little girl again. I thought you were going home. Where's she going? She's going out that way. No! She opened the door for you. She's like a ghost, so I guess it... Whatever. So I guess she's fine. But yeah, you can't see... It's really hard to see the chest, by the way. Okay, what do we got here? Oh, good! I exchanged the medicine one for a medicine one. There's another one over here. Oh! Offense plus one. <laughs> nice. Oh, let's take back my um, recover. Or my medicine. There is a secret door over here, by the way. Secret door? Secret door. Secret door. There are a bell of secret doors. What do we got here? I don't need cure poison. Psh, put that away. Mm, aha! Oh, range. Nice. Extend my cone a little bit. Cure P is cure poison, by the way, if you guys didn't figure that out. Offense plus one. Offense plus. Yes, of course, When I, f I learned that the hard way, because when I first played this game, too, I saved all my stat bonuses, too, because I was like, what the hell to do with these? <laughs> what if I want to put them on a later gun? Don't worry. You won't have to worry about that. Use them right away. And then you get more space in your inventory. What other mutant beast do we have down here? Oh, two frogs. Oh yeah, three. Oh god. No! Oh, it actually hit me. I see, so remember, it only took three bullets with my other gun in order to kill the frogs. Oh, it took three there because I crit, I crit twice. Throw on that crit. Not the crip. Not crip. Nope. We're not a part of the crips. What do we got here? Emergen There's a switch in an emergency phone. Should I use the phone? You better call the police station here. Let, let them know what's going down. Hey, I'm in the sewer. Chasing this chick that turned into a mutant. I don't know what the hell she is, so I'm going to investigate. I don't believe you. <laughs> A mutant? A chick that turned into a mutant? Why are you calling her a chick, by the way? You're a police officer. You should probably <laughs> be calling her a woman. But it's a chick! Uh oh, there she is. We found her. Just hanging out in a dark room. Hold her right there. What are you gonna do with her? Are you gonna, like, put her in jail or something? I'm pretty sure she would just get out. How are you going to restrain her anyway? And handcuffs won't work since she can levitate. <laughs> well, they will, but you know what I mean. So yeah, um, if you guys haven't figured out, everybody that gets close to Eve burns. That's why that happened in the theater. Except for Aya. Aya, for some reason, does not. Because apparently she's the same. Because <laughs> she's special. Oh, my mitochondria will understand, huh? Oh. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. When am I going to awaken, then? So, like, death clock? Awaken, 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 <laughs> awaken. Take the land that must be taken. And then they actually awaken an actual demon. <laughs> <laughs> that episode is so great. 
I haven't watched that show whoa, in forever. Whoa. What is she doing? Wow. So she turned into ooze. By the way, that's through the gate. By the way, that's blood. That's the coloration of blood on this. She turned to blood and went through the gate. Yeah. Blood coloration is weird. Oh snap. Sewer croc. Got that croc. Does it have any eyes? I don't think it does. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. And it's electrified. Oh. It's our first boss of the game! Yes! Boss time! And this game is actually pretty generous. It tells you there's two targets. <laughs> Don't go for... Let me... Let's wait. Okay, hold on. Yeah, watch out for that. Don't go for the head. It won't do anything. Go for the tail. In fact, I don't even know exactly what the head... If you attack the head, I'm not even sure exactly what it does. I don't think it does anything. Also, be careful being behind him. I know you want to get behind him because you want to hit the tail. But he'll do that tail swipe and it'll hit you. Ow! I actually got hit. <laughs> Ow. Take out the tail! Oh, shit! Oh, never mind. That's the end. I thought I was reloading and I was like, no! Let me get hurt. Oh, you already killed him? No, not quite. That's a two-part battle. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. So now there's only one target. It's just the head. Now he does fireballs! Fireballs of Doom! Everything's of Doom, by the way. <laughs> Always. I think I have time. Oh, shit, shit! Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> oh my god! The fucking fireball crit! Why'd it crit? That would have been embarrassing if I died on the first boss! <laughs> Got him. Jesus. I've never died on the first boss. <laughs> Slow. Slows enemy AT recharge. Oh, I got a Kevlar vest. Yeah, I don't think we can chase after her anymore. Yeah, because I don't think you can turn into blood and appear on the other side of the gate. Yeah. Or the goo. The goop. The goop. Oh, god damn it. Why is there a reporter here? No one's going to stop and talk to you. Are you kidding me? Yep. Yes, I'm a soul survivor. Yes, I don't give a shit. A soul survivor? I don't know how the song goes. Yeah, combustion doesn't exist, right? Oh, who's this guy? Black guy in a brown brown suit. Fat guy in a little coat. Damn! Whoa! Dude! <laughs> Are you crazy, Jim? Get out of here. Oh, she knows him. Damn you. Alright. He's late. Oh, that's fine. You punched the guy. Punched a reporter in the back of the head. You donkey punched him. Donkey punched him? Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> so he's a police officer, too. I've never driven really fast in New York City. I know, right? <laughs> Jesus. I don't, I don't know. You, you might be able to drive that fast in New York, but every time Isn't I see it on TV, there's always traffic. That's what I was just going to say. <laughs> so, so that guy apparently was just pestering her to go out on a date, and she was just like, fine, ugh. <laughs> right, why she just the... Uh, Opera, so we should have went to talk to him. That's a good point! Yeah! <laughs> well, at least now we don't have to worry about seeing him ever again, because he's probably dead. 
No, apparently Daniel said that he ran out the, ran out the door like a wuss. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, why aren't you with your son, Daniel? It's Christmas Eve. <laughs> James, you can't lean back. You're going to not be able to get picked up by the mic. Come on, James. <laughs> you already have a low voice as it is. No volume to it. Quiet voice. Symbiosis? You were in the hospital? Oh, she passed out. <laughs> yeah, she did go through a lot. Wait, she's sleeping? I guess. It looks like her eyes are still open. But... Yeah, I was just about to say that. That's 90s graphics for you. Yep. <laughs> It all started with this incident. Six days that were be to become a nightmare for all. People will eventually forget and go on with their lives. But I will never forget it. It was pure terror. But... It was also six days filled with familiar memories. You made memories during these six horror-filled days? Well, I don't no. think you'll ever forget something as horrifying as... No, they're, they're, they're good memories, James. That's what I meant. <laughs> they're good memories. Day two, fusion. Already in day two? Mm-hmm. All right, guys, day two. We'll see you tomorrow. Yes.